Yesterday, Ninja announced that he's going to be streaming everywhere, but how is he doing that? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video. Guys, today on the stream, we are talking about Ninja making the announcement that he is going to be streaming everywhere. And I'm kind of curious to see how he's currently performing. He just started streaming about half an hour ago at the time of recording this. I, I think I know how he is doing it. So let's go through this together here uh, as we take a look. First, he is live on Twitch, and he currently has roughly 16,000 people watching. It's hidden behind me, but he does have 15,871 uh, currently watching here. If I scroll down, you can see that just for the record, 30 minutes in. Over on Twitter, he has about 1,200 people watching. You can see right there. Uh, on Facebook, he currently has 1.4K watching. On YouTube, he has 8,600 people watching. And then over on TikTok, he has 13.4K watching. And then finally, on uh, uh, Instagram, he currently has 1,400 people watching. It is the only one that has kind of an unusual layout uh, versus everything else. Really intriguing, really interesting to see. Now, how is he managing to do it? That is the question. And in fact, uh, that was asked here also by uh, Napo Ellis, who said, serious question, Zach, how much internet speed would you legitimately need to do what Ninja is doing? Because I'm seeing 1080p, 60 FPS on all six platforms at once. And I said, no additional bandwidth would be needed. He's using a restreaming service. And in fact, if we go take a look at Jessica Blevins, what she said about this announcement, we have also worked on uh, user experience already. Of course, we will see if it actually pans out, but there's a great program we are using that shows all chatters in one place and has their site logo, YouTube, Twitch, etc., next to their name so Tyler knows where they're chatting from. Here's where I believe, or here's what I believe he is actually using, and my research on this is pretty mild, but ultimately I think that it is probably accurate. If we go take a look at uh, Ninja's chat and we take a look at who his moderators are, he's using a bot here uh, that is moderated called Restream Bot. And Restream Bot is part of a service called Restream.io that in fact allows you to restream to 30 plus different platforms. If I take you over here, this is what it looks like. You can uh, choose your destinations, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Telegram, DLive, Dailymotion, Trove, Mixcloud, VLive, Nono Live, Nemo TV, Neighbor TV, a whole bunch of things that nobody's ever heard of, uh, as well as Steam. <laughs> and then you also have custom RTMP and a, and a few other options here as well. Do you, uh, MLG, all kinds of different options to be able to stream to. Now, this service in and of itself is a paid service. Of course, this is not paid for. This is me just doing my research here. Uh, you do get two channels for free if you wanted to just restream to one other channel. Not bad if you want to do uh, a Twitch and YouTube. But if you do want to do more than that, up to five channels with a $16 a month subscription or $190 per, per year. And also, as it relates to what Jessica was saying here in terms of the program that combines everything together, again, that is a service that Restream.io offers. Uh, keep your streaming chats in one place. Forget tab switching. Read and reply to messages from multiple streaming platforms on one screen. And we can actually see a little bit of a, an example of what it looks like here. Here's a, uh, Stephen King from Facebook. Here's Silver Magic from Twitter slash Periscope. That's a Periscope logo, I do believe. Uh, here's one from Twitch. And basically, it combines all of your chats into one. Now, I don't know if we can see that or not on his stream here, but I do believe if we if we zoomed in over here, that might be what that is right there. Um, but this is the only angle that we could potentially see it from. I'm intrigued to see how this actually performs. I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued to see whether or not he maintains the viewership numbers that he currently has or whether they go up or whether they go down or, or which platforms end up kind of being dropped to the side. I might also myself check out Restream.io uh, just to give a, get, get a sense for what it's like to actually use and how this actual uh, integrated chat system actually works. Uh, with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you are considering restreaming. And if you do, uh, will you use Restream.io or do you know about other platform services functionality that you would use instead? But yeah, let me know because I don't know of any other services that do this directly. I haven't done a lot of research into it, so I am kind of curious. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.